Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use L systems to create the stem of the ivy plant. Okay, so what I've done is I've just done a little bit of research on, on what I'm trying to make. Research is king. It's always a good idea to do a little bit of digging about um, what you're making. In this case, the ivy, so I sort of took a look at Google Images, looked at some Wikipedia pages, just to get a sense of what I'm creating. Uh, and in this video, we're going to create the central stem that runs through the, the middle. The leaf will, will tackle separately as a separate sort of mini subsystem, if you like. But in this video, sort of the, the analysis that I've sort of completed sort of indicates to me that you know, it's, we've got some quite interesting shapes going on in in the diff, in the different ivy that's in uh, just on this simple Google image. Uh, here we go. Um, we've got some interesting shapes that would be really time consuming to model um, if you were to do it individually, for example. Um, and we've also got some interesting uh, variation in the different lengths and sizes of the leaves. So this indicates to me that L systems would be a great choice to design this stem. Um, so if you've never worked with L systems before, they're um, an algorithmic language um, created by a man called Astrid Lindenmeyer, who came up with this way to codify and examine how plants were built in a mathematical algorithmic uh, way, which is really, really fascinating. And he kind of presented these rules, this rule set, if you like, to describe how plants are structured and built. I'm probably doing a terrible job of explaining it, but it's a really fascinating subject. And there's lots of books out there that break down plants and trees in a very mathematical and algorithmic way. So he came up with this thing called L systems, which sort of codifies this language. And this language is available to us in Houdini. Now, what does all that mean? Let's jump over to Photoshop. So what we can do is we can create a set of instructions, uh, also called rules, that describe the process of creating geometry in a recursive way. So one generation, two generations, three generations, all kind of recursively pile on top of each other until you create this really complex um, geometry. So let's take a look. Let's do a little bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a thought experiment. So this is our, we're going to call this a turtle, which is what the um, documentation refers to it as. So that's our turtle. <laughs> Bear with me on this. Um, and we can give this turtle instructions. Okay, we can tell it to move forward. We can tell it to turn right. We can tell it to turn left. We can tell, tell it to rotate around its axis. Okay, and those instructions form the basis of our geometry generation, if you like. So we'll introduce a lot of these um, instructions as we pl pl uh, plan and build our L system in, in Houdini, but just let's start off simple. So if I said that F, the instruction F equals move forward. Okay. And if I said, say plus is turn left. And hopefully you can see where I'm going. And then we'll say minus is turn right. If we created a rule set, so we'll call this rule one, that was F, F plus F minus F, something like that. Our turtle, after one generation, so one one time of going through this little rule, our turtle would move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward. Yeah, so you can see how we can very, very quickly build up these rules. And okay, yeah, so not the most complex of examples, but what if we started throwing in some more of these instructions to our turtle? And one of the cool things we can do in L systems is we can create branching. We can tell it to sort of branch off. Okay, so if we said these square brackets indicate start a new branch, okay, then we could do something like this. We could say, so let's do rule two. 
So if we said, first of all, go forward, then create a new branch, turn left and go forward. Okay, then create a new branch, but this time turn right and go forward. Yeah, so now we'd have something like, so let's just make a note of that, rule one, rule two. So rule two would be move forward, and here he creates a branch to turn left and go forward. So he'll go left and go forward. And the way these branches work, it like pops off and then returns back to where it was. So it'll do that and then come back. And now we're at this part, minus F, make a branch and then pop that branch, okay? And if we repeat this rule over and over again, say we repeat this, say three times, we get something that looks like this. One, two, three, yeah? So hopefully you can sort of see where we're going with this recursive nature of, of these rules. We can generate some simple rules and then repeat it a bunch of times to create some quite interesting geometry. Now these are the very, very basic. The, the L system rule set contains loads and loads of interesting rules that we can tell our geometry creation turtle to, to make use of. Um, say, for example, we could make these lines here progressively shorter. So we'd get something like this. Yeah, so now you can sort of start to see already that how, how useful that is when creating organic sort of plant-like shapes. We could even, when we make our branch here, we could add some more rules that created more branches on those sub-branches. And then we start to get a tree branch type look. Yeah, and in fact, L systems are commonly used to make trees. And as, as we'll have a look when we jump into Houdini, one of the default things of the L system is the tree. Okay, so with that, let's jump over into Houdini. So I've got a brand new, completely fresh, completely clean scene of Houdini 18.5. And let's just put down a geometry node and jump inside and then start typing out L system. Okay. And here you see the default little L system tree that we've got here. And in that L system, if we jump over to rules, just like we were doing on uh, in Photoshop there, we've got an area where we can establish what the rules are. Okay. And these are the rules here that generate this tree. Now, admittedly, L systems can be quite complex and quite confusing, but ultimately, if you start simple and start adding in the rules as you sort of need them, you can really start to build something quite complex in, in, in just a few variables, okay? So here we can see we've got some rules here that dictate how this tree is generated, okay? So A, this rule A here, it does this bunch of stuff, but if you notice, it's calling B as well. So it's calling rule B and rule B does something different. Okay. Yeah. And if we jump over to the geometry tab, we've got this generations here. This is how many iterations it's going to operate on. Okay. So if we slide that down to, to nothing, we can see how this will build up it as those generations increase. Okay. And that's the recursive nature of L systems, okay, super useful to uh, to making these organic uh, geometry systems. And now this is just geometry. We can do whatever we want with this. We can turn it into polygons. You know, we could you know add materials and UV coordinates to it. We're working with geometry now. And one more thing I want to indicate with the L system is you've got a bunch of presets here. If you click on the cog up here. You've got lots and lots of presets that are provided. So if you select them and start taking a look, this is an animated one, you can see very, very quickly, you can generate some quite interesting and varied and organic looking shapes, even though the rules are very, very mechanical. 
okay so if you look and we examine this this branch here we're using the, the same variables we were using in the in the Photoshop example F is move forward and then we've got this branch here that branches off and we've got another branch here that branches off and then interestingly at the end of this rule we recursively loop back on ourselves so every time this rule is run it will run itself again and it will also run this rule called X as well so we've got this rule here which runs itself twice recursively so you're getting this feedback loop of rules a feedback loop of loop of geometry creation which is really cool and really powerful but also <laughs> it's very very easy to uh, to freeze your PC because you know there's if you and there we go where are we six generations and my PC is already starting to have to stop to calculate because we've generated you know quite a bit of geometry so be, be careful when playing around with this generation slider because it's quite easy to force your computer into doing millions and millions of calculations in addition one final thing before we leave it for this lesson I would strongly advise um, with the L system node selected just click on this little question mark here and it'll bring up the documentation tab for L systems now the, this is fantastic uh, and every time I use L systems I will have this open for reference because there are so many of these different commands and different elements of L systems that we can use so I would strongly recommend just having a quick skim read through this uh, documentation it's really really good and really useful and throughout the course of this series you'll see me uh, referring to it um, just to clarify a rule or, or to show you guys where to find these different turtle command references here look so here you can see the the in all the instructions you can give your little turtle to uh, to create that geometry for you a couple of them we've already introduced like f sort of to create uh, to move forward but then there's lots and lots of others and things like this we've looked at turn right turn left etc so we'll be coming back to this a lot in future videos awesome in the next video we're going to make start on our own l system okay we're going to use those rules that we've looked at to block out our initial L system stem. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.